Robson gets first century in 15 months. Having seen their promotion push ended by defeat last time out, Middlesex were looking to make amends as Derbyshire arrived at Lord's. The visitors were looking for a third win on the bounce and would feel confident having beaten the hosts in the season opener. Robson and Gubbins were the men at the crease and the former wasted no time finding the boundary on several occasions. Gubbins was the first of the pair to part as he was trapped LBW by Vilhuyn, Middlesex with 64 for their first wicket. With Eskenazi for company, Robson managed to pepper the boundary and bring up his half century from 87 balls. Derbyshire looked bereft of ideas as the session continued and as lunch was called, Middlesex sat 102 for one with Robson looking primed for a big total. Robson and Eskenazi picked up where they'd left off in the afternoon with both men taking turns picking out the boundary. Eskenazi wasn't able to match Robson's milestone as he misread a Critchley delivery leading him to depart LBW with Middlesex 139 for two. Skipper Milan was next to the crease and wasted no time in battering the boundary alongside the steady Robson. It was to be a short spell though as Vilhuyn claimed his second wicket of the day, Milan also falling foul to an LBW call, the hosts 166 for three. Holden joined Robson at the crease and the opener continued with his majestic innings, reaching his century from 180 balls. His efforts bringing Middlesex to tee at 219 for three, Derbyshire's bowling attack not offering much outside of Vilhuyn's brace. Holden picked off the odd boundary to creep to his half century as Middlesex found runs with ease. The evening session saw Robson reach 134 before a Madsen catch following a Palladino delivery finally gave Derbyshire the elusive wicket, the opener's efforts leaving Middlesex 298 for four. White arrived at the crease and was the polar opposite of the man he replaced, a golden duck at the hands of Palladino with Wilson on hand to make the catch. The hat-trick wasn't completed but the hosts had finally been shaken. Middlesex's positive day was starting to take a turn as Palladino took his third wicket of the session. Harris was adjudged to be LBW and exiting for a duck. The evening belonged to Palladino as Anderson failed to learn from Harris's mistake, trapped LBW and departing with the hosts 308 for seven. Holden continued to fight his way toward a century but can only watch on as Fuller was caught by Critchley off a Ferguson delivery. Bamba joined Holden and managed to survive through to Stumps, with the latter on 96 not out, looking to complete his century early on day two. Derbyshire's late flurry of wickets would give them a glimmer of hope going forward in this contest.